In this episode, I burn my hands on the world's <laughs> hottest food. I swim in a rainstorm. Okay, it's really raining now. I sleep with the door open. And I am back out in the old van. Whoa. Speed bumps. I mean, I've literally been out for like half an hour driving around and it already feels like old times. All right, this looks like a good a spot as any. Do you know, I've got so used to having a reversing camera on the new van. Now I've got to use my brain a little bit. <laughs> I've been working relentlessly on the new van. I thought, for a change, I'm gonna come out in this one before I get rid of the old girl. And when I say get rid of her, she will either be getting raffled or be up for sale pretty soon. This, this is what it's all about. Talk about nostalgia. It feels so good to be back out in this van with that view behind, which you probably can't see. Hang on. You see that view? There, that view. Now I've arrived at the beach. It's about six o'clock in the evening. I'm not gonna stay here. I am gonna have dinner here. But then what I'm gonna do is once I've finished with my dinner and I've enjoyed the view for long enough, I'm gonna go find somewhere else that I can park up. Now the only reason why I'm not gonna stay here is because you're not allowed to stay in this car park and this is pretty much one of my local beaches and I don't really wanna get banned from here. So that's why I'm not gonna be sleeping in this car park this evening. And speaking of dinner, this is what I've got for the evening. I really wanted to have a curry. As much as I enjoy making a curry, I've realized this van is way too small to be cooking a full blown curry. So I've actually got a ready meal and it does actually say that you have to cook this in the microwave. But I've thought of that. Uh, look at this. Uh, a full on microwave. Look. There's a microwave in the van. Oop. Now I know what you're probably thinking. Sean, you don't have an inverter in this van. How are you gonna power this microwave? Which brings me on to today's video sponsor, Anchor. This is the Anchor Solix 767. Now Anchor have been producing portable power stations for quite some time now. And with the world facing a bit of an energy crisis at the moment, there's not a lot it can't do. And Anchor have decided to bring customers a new energy solution. And that's where the Anchor Solix comes in. They have this goal where they want everyone in the world to live in power and for everyone to be energy independent as well. And with Anchor Solix, it will no longer be a dream. Now this power station has a 2,300 watt output, which if I'd had this a few weeks ago, I probably wouldn't have installed all that stuff in the other van. Cause this pretty much does all of that. You can charge it off solar, you can charge it off the van when you're driving. And because it has a 2,300 watt power output, that's more than the inverter that I've got going in the other van. And let me just show you some of the features of the Anchor Solix portable power station. One of the things I absolutely love about this is it's actually got lights. So let me just turn the lights off in the van. Okay, and then we're gonna turn this on. So that's the first setting. It's got another setting, and then that's pretty bright. I mean, if you didn't have any power in the van or if you didn't have any lights, set up i'd say that would give you quite a nice bit of mood lighting there but this is really cool as well it also has if you hold that down for two seconds an sos so if you are out and about and you need help this could help it has your normal 240 volt plug sockets but this one actually has three built in all ready to go you also have car sockets here two of them so if you wanted to charge something that would normally take car sockets then you can actually put two in at the same time which is fantastic it also has two USB inputs and three USB-C. This is where you would normally plug it in to charge it. So just say that you wanted to uh, charge it off solar. You would pull this down, you would plug the solar into there, but it actually comes with this adapter. It allows you to plug in up to five 200 watt solar panels. So that gives you a maximum solar input of a thousand watts. You also have your standard AC charging socket there as well for if you want to just plug it into the mains at home. 
and this here is an overcharge protection and what that does is it prevents it getting overcharged and that there is actually designed so if you want to plug it into an expansion battery so just say that the 2048 watt hour battery that's built into this wasn't enough you could actually plug it into another one and this power station also comes with a easy tow handle look at this and that allows you to tow the power station behind you if you were in a place where you needed to move it from one end of the room to the other, save your back and just literally tow it behind you on the wheels. I even managed it on an uneven surface. And for everyone that's in the market for an Anchor Solix power station, they do have a fans day coming up and it's running on the 25th of June where they'll be running countless benefits and discounts. Check out the link below to make sure that you don't miss out on these discounts and benefits. And now I think it's time to see if this is actually man enough to do my dinner in the microwave. Let's give it a go. I mean, what would you do in your house if your, if your plug didn't reach? We have power. Right, let's give it a go. Ugh. Lovely. All right, how long is it need going for? Four minutes, 30 seconds. <laughs> Do you know what? I never thought I'd be sat in my van. <laughs> The microwave going, running off a power station. We are currently reading at output 1,503 watts, even though this is a 900 watt microwave, so that's a bit, bit weird. And if we ran it completely, it would run for 1.2 hours. Now it'll be interesting to see how much charge is left in the battery after we've cooked our food. I mean, we've got four and a half minutes in. I'm also gonna do the nan breads, even though it doesn't say to do them in the microwave, but I'm gonna do it anyway, because I don't have an oven or a grill. It's done. Woo. Ah. Ah. Now the trick with naan bread is you're supposed to like get it a little bit wet before you heat it up. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of water, put it on my hand, and then just give that a little bit of a dribble over. And I'll do the same again. I reckon 20 seconds would do it. <laughs> yep, that's done. 95%. Let's give it a go. Ooh, it smells nice. It's a butter chicken, so it's pretty mild to be fair, but when, you, when you're in a camper van and you've got a chemical toilet, the last thing you want is a spicy curry. I'll tell you what's gonna be quite funny. If only I was at home, I could see my wife's face when she goes to use the microwave later on to this evening. And she'll be like, where's the microwave gone? Oh. It's hot. Curry in the van. Oh, also, it wouldn't be like old times if I didn't have a non-alcoholic beer. And today it is Lucky Saint. Oh, that's not bad actually. It's all about making a little curry sandwich with your naan bread. I mean, it doesn't look very appetizing, but it is very nice. I'd just like to say thank you to Anchor for making my dream come true of using a microwave inside a camper van. Thank you. But now that I've finished my dinner, should we go for a little wander before the rain starts? We will see what the waves are doing. Look at that. I mean, it's so calm out there, I could probably actually just go for a swim. I haven't been in the sea for a while. Now I have decided I'm gonna go for a quick, very quick dip in the sea because I'm here, I've got a wetsuit and it'd be rude not to. I mean, after all, I have only had half 
of a non-alcoholic beer. Anyone that knows this beach in the summer, have you ever seen it this empty? <laughs> One of the benefits of having a van, I guess, you can just do these sorts of things. Well, I've actually, I was thinking about this the other day and I think it's been probably about, I don't know, three months since I was last in the water. Converting that van has pretty much taken over my life. So I'm so glad I came out tonight. And there's that rain we talked about. Here's something I would recommend anyone do. Go for a swim in the sea when it's raining. Just the sound of the, the raindrops hitting the water. There's nothing like it. So very relaxing and calming. Okay, it's really raining now. <sighs> Whew. Now that was quite a pleasant swim. I think all there is to do now is I'm going to chill out, finish the rest of this beer and watch the sun go down. And then I've got to find somewhere to stay tonight. I know there's a park up down the road, so it will probably be there. Okay, this is the place. I have stayed here quite a few times before. It was a lot busier last time I was here, I tell you. There's literally no one here now. I'll just show you what I can see. There's a, there's a big daddy long legs in here, or crane fly. People always get confused whether it's a daddy long legs or a crane fly, and they're actually crane flies. Daddy long legs are the ones without the wings. I think I got it. Did I get it? Oh, I killed it. Oh, sorry, mate. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. All right. right, now that I've done all my pest control, I think I'm gonna make the bed and go to bed. Now. Noisy road tonight. I mean, as much as I love my new van and I love doing it up, there's something really nice and cozy about this van. It's just really, just. I'm gonna lock the door. Well, I guess that's a movie out of the question then isn't it? But as I'm not going to be able to watch a movie now, I'm just going to go to sleep and I'll, uh, I'll see you in the morning. Good night. I ended up getting the, getting the internet working. So I am watching some YouTube, but I wouldn't recommend anyone doing this, but it's quite warm tonight. So I've, I'm, uh, sleeping with the, with the door open. It's pretty dark out there, isn't it? If we get attacked in the night, I'll tell you all about it in the morning. And on that note, good night. Good morning. Oh, it's bright, let me. I ended up, I shut the door in the end because it, it started raining. Hang on, let me open the door now. That'll be a much better light. Oh, 
beautiful morning. It's a bit cloudy to be fair, a bit like hazy, but it's all right. I think I'm just gonna get up, get going this morning. I'm not gonna make myself a coffee or anything. I just wanna get home now, have a shower. Something about going to bed after being in the sea or salty. And definitely need a shower. Right. Well, it's time to go home. I'll see you on Sunday. Bye. I'd give you the world like I promised.